Hey, listen up there, YouTube. Chip here with the Iconic Sports Cycle Moto Blog. What's up? Hey, guys. Well, obviously, I'm still not on my Yosung. I'm on another rental bike. I'm taking advantage of uh, the opportunity to uh, go over to the Eagle Rider Motorcycle in Orlando and um, rent another motorcycle while my bike is in the shop. Um, this time, I rented something a little different. Um, usually, I go for the, something that's... Uh, on the sporty side, um, something that's uh, you know quick and nimble. Um, this time, uh, going a little outside the box. There, um, this is the 2016 uh, Harley Davidson Road Glide. Um, quite the nice bike. Um, not really, you know, the kind of bike that I you know would normally enjoy or go for, but um, it suits its purpose. Um, you know, would I want to buy a bike like this? Probably not. Would I rent one? Yeah, after, you know, spend a little seat time on this thing? Yeah, absolutely. Um, this bike uh, has a lot of advantages, and a lot of the things that I perceived to be a disadvantage really, really didn't pan out. Um, I assume that because it's a 900 pound, 900 pound plus vehicle, that, uh, well, it would be, you know, uh, somewhat of a slug, or somewhat, uh, you know, poor handling, or, you know, um, clumsy. But you know what? It's really not. It's uh, it's actually uh, quite comfortable. Um, it's really uh, you know got a good uh, torque band. You know this uh, 103 engine with the six-speed. Uh, the gear ratio seem to be well suited. Um, so it's a uh, it's very very easy. I mean really easy to ride. Um, on the 2016s, they've uh, changed the handlebar configuration so it kind of comes up down and they're they're in a little bit more. Um, so instead of having your elbows in the up out right position. Um, they're more relaxed, more closer to your your center. I, I think it makes it a little bit more comfortable. Um, again, my personal opinion, but I, I think that's uh, that was the intention of the design change. Um, another thing I like about the bike is, uh, well, I like analog gauging. Um, you know, I, I find it easy to read. It's old school and kind of like that. You know, you got your fuel gauge, your volt gauge here. You know, tack and speedometer. Um, but the other thing is, you know, got your audio system up here. I'm just going to go ahead and. Uh, Hit the except so you can see what it's doing up there. So, um, you know, it's right there, center, you know, top and center. So um, you don't have to uh, bump, bump your head down to take a look. You know, you can just dip your eyes down and see what's going on. You can see the audio system uh, figures. You, you can uh, also check uh, the information screen on there. Um, you know, look at your tire pressure, temperature, and all that kind of thing. Um, so, um, you know, it's, it's quite useful. You don't have to, you know, take your eyes off the road. You know, you keep, uh, you know, monitor things, you know, check out your favorite channels. Um, this, uh, this bike does have uh, AM, FM. Um, it does have uh, weather band radio. It also has a USB port in there. I'll shoot, you know, when I do a little quick walk around on the bike, I'll show you that. Um, but uh, the thing that really was a pleasant surprise in this bike, you know, I, I expected it to shine really well up on the highway, you know, and, and it did. It's it's an exceptional bike for you know cruising the interstate um, if you want a bike that'll go coast to coast uh, whether it be uh, New York to California or uh, Cocoa Beach to uh, Clearwater Beach uh, this would be a great bike to do that on um, you know we live in Florida so we could see both coastlines and in, uh, in one day you know we could have breakfast and watch the sun up uh, one you know one day and you know, travel to the other coast and uh, watch the sunset and have dinner I mean it's it's entirely possible and uh, a lot of great riding in between um, but a bike like this would be uh, well worth a ride on something like that. Um, I happen to be renting this bike from uh, Eagle Rider Motorcycle of Orlando. Uh, the guys over there, uh, Laura, Matt, and uh, Mindy, they're really great to work with. Um, you know, it's always great to get a great bike, but uh, if you have some uh, real professional people handling that for you, making the, the transaction nice and easy and pleasant, you know, it's always great. Um, people that know what they're doing. Um, so I highly recommend Eagle Rider Motorcycle of Orlando. Um, I actually work for a a company that's uh, associated with them, uh, Indian uh, Motorcycle of Orlando. Uh, so, uh, you know, I have the uh, a great opportunity to deal with them on a regular basis. Um, but this is a great bike. Um, is it a bike that I'd buy? No, no, I wouldn't buy this bike. Is it a bike that I'd rent to go somewhere? Absolutely. Um, this bike really shines in that department. Um, it's comfortable. The seat is comfortable. The handlebar, you know, riding position is comfortable. It's got a uh, the long chassis, so it absorbs bumps quite well. Um, you know, the seat is uh, you know firm, but it's you know it's comfortable. It holds you in place without uh, you know without uh, a couple hours of riding giving you a monkey butt. You know. Um, also, it's you know got a nice uh, you know pillion area for the passenger. 
Um, this bike, of course, uh, because it's a rental, does have the uh, backrest and rack on there. Um, they also offer the uh, the um, Road Glide and an Ultra, which comes with the, uh, the tail pack as well, um, some, some other features. Um, this just happens to be the, uh, you know, the standard one. But uh, I've got to tell you, it's pleasant to ride. Uh, it's got some great ventilation. Now, you've got the windscreen up here, you know, kind of blocks the full frontal assault of wind. But you got vents down here. You also have a vent that you can open up up here. Um, so it's, uh, you know, it's really, uh, you know, it's really comfortable. You know, you get that nice breeze floor to you. You want a little airflow. You don't want to get all stuffy behind the bars, you know. Um, I'm riding actually, actually through Windover. This is one of my favorite places to ride. It's, it's a... Uh, it's an area I usually love to take a sport bike because, you know, hey, look at the twists and turns on this road, you know, it's a, it makes for a lot of fun. But I got to tell you, uh, I'm pleasantly surprised how well this bike does on this uh, this road. I've actually had it on a couple of my favorite twisties this morning and uh, and I haven't been disappointed yet. Um, I don't think I'd be comfortable, you know, riding the speeds that I would normally ride on a, on a road like this, uh, on, on a bike this heavy. But uh, but um, again, I'm, I'm enjoying the ride. It's, it's been a lot of fun. Um, it's got the 103 engine with the six-speed. Um, here seems to be pretty well mated to the uh, torque curve of the engine, so really not a lot of shifting going on. You know, it's uh, you know it's pretty able to you know to handle it uh, to make it a comfortable ride. But again, you know, I you know I, I was thought you know, I'd have a lot of negative things to say about the bike because you know I'm not I'm just not a Harley guy. And again, it's not that Harley makes a bad bike. They just don't make a bike that suits my riding style. And again, this doesn't suit my riding style, but for what it's designed to do, I'd, I'd say it does it really well. Um, build quality is typical Harley, it's built like a tank. Um, so I think that, uh, you know, kudos to Harley for, you know, for having, uh, you know, the reputation and the, uh, the ability to back up that reputation for building a good quality motorcycle. Um, but again, uh, I'm actually pretty well impressed about uh, you know, the handling of this bike. Um, another thing uh, I've noticed that, uh, generally speaking, when I'm on a cruiser or touring bike, uh, I scrape pegs a lot or floorboards. And uh, as of yet, you know, I've been on some pretty twisty roads this morning and haven't done that yet. So that seems to have pretty good ground clearance. Again, I'm intentionally not leave it, leaning it heavy. I'm, I'm trying not to ride it like I would ride a sport bike, and that would give it uh, a disappointing review because I'm, I'm not comparing apples to apples. The guy on the ground looks like he's having fun on the twisties. I haven't ridden the Grom yet, but uh, they do look like a lot of fun. I have some friends that ride them, and you know, they seem to really enjoy them. But yeah, I gotta say, this uh, this bike has been a pleasant surprise. So well, again, this is Chip from the Iconic Sports Cycle Motor Blog. I uh, hope you enjoyed riding along with me today. Hopefully the information I provided about this 2016 uh, uh, Road Glide has been uh, helpful to you. Um, if there's uh, anything I can do to, you know, explain further on, on this, just uh, com make comments in the comment section. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Um, again, this is Chip from the Iconic Sports Cycle Motor Blog. Talk to you real soon. Bye. All right, so the things I like. I like the visibility of the gauges right there. Uh, the, I, I like the analog style dials, you know. I'm old school, so I like that. Um, so I like the uh, the odometer reads pretty easily. I like the gear indicator. It starts over here at one, it works its way over to six over here. It's a six speed. Um, it's kind of nice and clear, lets you know what gear you're in. And uh, the fact that it moves over a little bit, I mean, you don't have to focus on it. You kind of know you're going up in the gears. Um, it's got cruise control, like I said. It's got uh, this is the control your screens up here for your audio system, your navigation system. I don't think this one actually has a navigation on it, but um, the uh, but it does have uh, you know the screen up there. And like I said, it's right there where it's easy to see. Um, and there we go. And uh, I got 102.7 local country station. Uh, if you want to change, you get your trip odometer up here, the little button down here on the thing where you can watch your trip odometer there. And. Um, I guess this has got 277 miles on it, so I'm just getting broken in. I got to break it in for the uh, so that they could get its first service. Um, got emergency flashes, which is kind of nice on a on a touring bike if you want to take it in a parade or something. 
Um, it's got the nice big uh, speakers here. I think they're like five and a half or five and a quarter, something like that. They, they actually sound pretty nice. Um, as I talked about, it's got some storage here. Now this storage compartment also has the USB port in it. There we go, the USB port. And this is just some storage over here. And of course you have a charge point here as well. Um, so get off the bike, we'll take a quick walk around, take a look at it. Uh, this particular one has the, um, the backrest in the, in the rack. That doesn't come standard, that's an add-on. Um, but you know, a lot of the rental bikes have that for the sake of, uh, you know, two up riding. Um, you know, this is all, has the uh, 103 engine in it, which is, you know, in this uh, trim, it looks pretty nice. It's got the uh, blacked out uh, fins with the polished edges. It's got the chrome case. Like I said, this one has the heel kick on it. Um, of course, this is a Rushmore project, all the 14 ups of the Rushmore projects. It's got the bigger aspect wheel ratio, um, the ventilation on the fairing, and like I said, this is you know you can you know turn that on and off. Um, this one also has the uh, the engine bars. We used to call them crash bars back in the day, but I guess that's something that uh, they frown on these days. Now this has the dual uh, disc brakes in the front and disc in the rear. I, I got to say, for you know uh, stopping power, and this thing's pretty great. It's got the 103 and the six speed. Um, you know, as you can see, it's got that typical Harley Davidson shake to it, but you know, on this model, it's not too bad. You, you don't really notice it too much. Um, again, at speed, you don't notice it at all, actually. Um, these, ha this newer style has the easier open lid where you just pull the lever on the inside, opens up, and there's my rain gear and everything. Um, but you know, it's got some good storage. Uh, this has the uh, quick release on it for the rack and the, and the backrest. Um, so this, uh, again, this is, a, this is a rental bike. I rented it from Eagle Rider Motorcycle in Orlando, Florida. If you guys uh, are in the area and you want to rent a bike, you, I, you couldn't do, you find a nicer place to rent a bike than over there at uh, Eagle Rider Motorcycle. You talk to Laura, Matt, or Mindy over there. They'll take good, good, good care of you. Um, you know, it's great to have a great bike, but you know, to get the great service that they offer there is a, uh, it's pretty nice too, you know. Uh, headlights on these things, of course, pretty amazing. You know, they're pretty bright. Um, you know, it's a, kind of a, a unique look, the dual headlights like that with all the LED lighting in there. I kind of like that. Um, but again, it's a great looking bike. You know, it's a, you know, I think the Street Glide is a pretty good looking bike too. But, you know, you know, I always thought that was a better looking bike. But, you know, the more I look at this one, the more it kind of grows on me. You know, it's got the uh, fold down foot pegs in the back. These come standard with the uh, battery charger on it, you know, the, the, the tender. So, you know, overall, real nice bike. Like I said, this seat I find to be really comfortable. Now, I suppose if... You know, you go on a long trip, they offer a, uh, a backrest insert, you know, for the, for, for the um, ride, uh, driver where you can um, install a backrest. So, like I said, it's a, it's a good looking bike. It's, uh, you know, it's a typical Harley Davidson. It's built like a tank, you know. It's, uh, and everything on it is, uh, seems to be top quality. They do make a great sound, you know. You don't have to wind them all out to make a lot of noise. They just uh, they just uh, do it kind of naturally. But again, uh, I think the, the the highs of this bike is that uh, you know, hey, it uh, rides really comfortable. Uh, the seating position is really comfortable. It absorbs bumps really well. And again, for a 900 plus pound bike, it's it's pretty nimble considering. Um, you know, I, and generally that's the thing that really turns me off about, you know, the bigger, heavier bikes, um, is that, uh, they're not really, you know, what I would call maneuverable or, you know, they're you know, nimble. Um, you know, I always, I'm always cautious going into a corner and, you know, I feel I have to slow way down to take a turn, you know, and I, you know, and, and I, you know, it doesn't inspire confidence. Um, but again, I, I gotta say, this one has been a pleasant surprise as far as that goes. Um, Again, I don't want to push it too hard because I, you know, I don't want to test its limits, but I would say that its uh, limits are quite a bit further out than I expected. <laughs>